What's up YouTube? I'm back with another lead code SQL problem, which is part of SQL 50. This one's marked as easy. Let's get into it. So this one's called group sold products by the date. It's numbered 1484. And it's part of SQL 50's advanced string functions, regex clause section. Yeah, still marked as easy. So let's see how we solve this one. This one has one table called activities. It has a sell date and a product. So it basically just has information on when which product sold. Our task is to write a solution to find for each date the number of different products sold and their names. The sold product names for each date should be sorted lexicographically, which is just a fancy word of saying in alphabetical order. Return the result table ordered by sell date. The result format is in the following example. So the activities table is in the following format, which is why I sort of I stopped for a second when I looked at the input table. This one is a pretty unusual format, but quite simple. You just have one entry per sale. So you have a sale date, product name, and that would mean that one product has sold on that date. So usually you would have the amount of units sold if you sell several t-shirts on the same day, for example, and more information, but that's what we have here. The output should be the sale date, the number, of products sold and then the products that have actually sold. Yeah, keep in mind this should be in alphabetical order. So for the 30th of May, it should be basketball, headphone and t-shirt, even though the order of sales was headphone, basketball, t-shirt in the input data. We don't have timestamps in there either. So yeah, that's what we're working with. Keep in mind, we're tasked to find for each date the number of different products sold. So if one product sells several times on the same date, we still just want to count that once. We're looking for how many different products did they sell in a day? What are the different products that were sold by the names? Yeah, we should return the result table order by sell date. We can take care of that. So let's just get started coding up the solution. We want to select the sale date for sure. That should be part of our output and something we probably need to group by since we want to sum up or count things. So whenever you do that, make sure to group by and include it as the output common, uh, column. This one should be num sold. I think for this one, since we want to get the amount of different products sold, it should be a count distinct. That's pretty much always the case if the question is worded that way. So that should be easy to pick up compared to the following part, which is getting the products listed. So we'll just count distinct product as num sold. And yeah, I'm just completing the query here in terms of the, the structure we're selecting from activities. It's a weird name for sales. And don't forget to group by the first column sale date. Also, we want to order by sell date in ascending order, which should be the default. So yeah, I'll just say order by sell date. Alrighty, so now we need to take care of the tricky part of this question and maybe why it's part of SQL 50. We want to list the amount or the names of the different products that have sold on that given date. Usually you would have this as part of your group of your group by. So you would have sell date, basketball, and then how many basketballs did you sell? That could be a more common question. In this case, because we want to have the number of different products sold, we also want to have those products listed. And the input table format is a bit unusual. So this is not a common question you'll get, which is why we'll have to use a un an uncommon function to solve it as well. And yeah, I'm just going through my solution here, knowing that it is something that is not super common, but it's very good to know that this exists. So there's a function called group concat, which allows you to do exactly what we need to do here, which is concatenate strings as an aggregation function. So instead of summing up or counting up, we will take a number of rows and 
concatenate them, so sort of append them to each other, basically just form a longer word out of these single words or strings. So yeah, there is this single concat function, which we used in another problem to combine parts of maybe an email or a username, but this allows you to take more than two elements and concat uh, an entire list of rows. So yeah, this could be a very long list if there's 17 different products sold on date. So yeah, we will also just specify product here because that is what we want to concatenate. Since we want to have all different products listed, we also specify distinct here. So this will also not use duplicates, just like the count distinct. And it even allows you to order by a column to specify the order in which you want to yeah, append those or concatenate those individual words or product names. So it'll be order by product in ascending order. Also the default, I'll just list it here to be clear. I'll also list it here. Yeah, so this should be called products. And yeah, let's just run this to see that it does what it is supposed to do. But yeah, I have a hard time explaining this one because this is just doing exactly what we're supposed to do, but it's not using really many of the elements we already know. So it's just an entirely new function that works in MySQL. And yeah, it does what we're supposed to do here. I think you can even specify a separator here. So currently this uses a comma to sort of separate the different elements that we concatenate here, but we could be using something else. So we could specify a separator here and say that could be a colon, a semicolon or anything. Yes, not entirely sure of the syntax. So yeah, I'll submit this to check whether it is accepted, but I'll also show you my submission that I made four and a half years ago, which is the same solution. And I must admit, I forgot that this function exists in MySQL. So if I look at my submissions, yeah, I submitted this in July, 2020, and it's pretty much the same code. Yes, it is the same code. And I knew there would have to be a function that would allow you to concatenate a group of rows, a list of rows, but I didn't know the exact name. I think in this case, you could use a pseudocode to just express what you try to do if this came up in an interview. But I'd say this one is very unlikely to come up with in an interview just because it isn't really used. And you should focus more on being able to calculate metrics, like a click-through metric, to use left joins, to use things like window functions and having in order to do things that are very commonly asked, like calculating an average or metric, as I said. So this one is a good question to include in SQL 50, just to let you know that this sort of function exists. And usually if there's a thing you want to do, there is a function for that. So keep that in mind and let's not get stuck on this question. I would recommend you to, to go to a few others and focus on these. But yeah, this one has been a good one to know that this sort of functionality exists. So I'll leave it at that. Make sure to check out the playlist of all us of all other SQL 50 video solutions I have on the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos pop up in your home feed and subscription feed. And I'll leave it at that. I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.